to you. Welcome to your Friday. This is pre-weekend day, as I like to call it. Woo, party. <laughs> so, we have some questions that you have sent to us that he will answer. Try to. Did I do a better job last week? I said it backwards. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, he's going to answer the questions you submitted online, and we're going to have just a big party, aren't we? Right. Yeah. So, if you have questions, if you're interested in this little series we do, let us know. Submit your questions on our Facebook page or call us and let us know. And be sure to share this with your friends. And if you don't have any questions, that's okay too. Yeah. If you don't, I'll come up with something. I'm sure you will. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your first question? Sure. Okay, so your first question today, Dr. Murphy, is this What is hantavirus? Bad bug. Bad, bad bar bug. It's actually, uh, <clears throat> it's an interesting uh, organism, and uh, the way I understand it, it's the lethal rate of it's phenomenal. I mean, mm -hmm. if you get a hantavirus infection, I mean, you're, the lethality of it's about 98%. You get real mm -hmm. sick in a hurry, and you essentially wind up hemorrhaging into every organ in your body and really? die. Yeah. And, uh, from That's what happened to that guy. Something like that. And, uh, but it, I think it, you're, it pretty much takes about three or four days, and you're dead. Yeah. And uh, it's typically just in the southwest. Yeah. It's interesting that uh, it's they theorize it's spread by rodents. Yeah. And so when there's a lot of rain in the desert southwest and things are blooming, there's a mice, rat population explosion because there's more for that food for them to feed on. <coughs> and uh, you'll see an explosion of this virus. And it's interesting because we look through history, the Anasazi Indians, yeah. where they just apparently up and disappeared one day. It's highly possible that they all came down with a hantavirus really? infection and killed them all. Yeah. Weird. Because it's, it's, it can be spread, yeah. you know, from uh, contact, personal contact, you know, fluids and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's really possible because it's within that endemic area. Yeah. But it's, a, it's, an, it's what they call a very dangerous virus, but it's not like you would see in some kind of outbreak Z, you know, where it's going to take over the world. Yeah. And the reason why is because see, people get so sick so fast that there's not enough time for them to spread really the spread virus. It. Yeah. Unlike other viruses like smallpox, that uh, you can get the infection, but your incubation period is about two weeks. So you have time to travel two weeks. Mm -hmm. And during that two weeks, you're spreading the virus to everybody else. Yeah. So it's, it's considered a very uh, lethal virus, but from a danger standpoint, not really. Yeah, and it's not like super prevalent in a lot of places. No, no, but there's outbreaks in the United States that occur about once every seems like every ten years. Yeah, you know, we'll get a hand of ours. and I suspect a lot of physicians, if they were even to see it in the emergency room, wouldn't even know what it was. Really? Yeah, and uh, I've seen those types of viral infections, you know, in the emergency room. I don't know if it was a hand of or not. These people come in with a bad virus, and God knows what it was. And they're really kind of hard to make a determination what they are. But uh, yeah, they'll wind up dying in just three or four days. <coughs> Well, and it's kind of, uh, you're, might you might have it right now, <coughs> You know, yeah, so that's kind of an interesting thing, um, but I guess we probably don't have go, to. you go. Great. Great. That's exactly how I want to go, yeah, God, sure, and yeah. act on me over yeah. here, jeez. Dr. Murphy, I mean. No, that's okay. Oh, no, I did it again. Hey, it's been a long time since I made a slip and called you the wrong name. <laughs> I think since this morning, I think you called me a name that. Did I? I'm sure. I usually call you lots of names behind your back, but I, I guess I, in front I, of your I, face. I know, okay. <laughs> so the thing about hantavirus is you probably aren't going to see it. You probably don't know much about it. No, if you get it, you're going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> so well, there's a little happy note to our Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's another weird one for you. What do you know about the Ebola outbreak in the Congo? Or do you know about Ebola? I do know about Ebola. It's been around for a long time. It's it's a lot similar to the antivirus. Once really? again, it's a very lethal virus. Interesting enough, there was a doctor, I think about 10 years ago, he's a family practice doctor in the United States that went over to help treat the Ebola outbreak. He got Ebola, and uh, but he didn't die of it. He developed antibodies to the virus. Wow. Yeah, and so he survived. And uh, theoretically, he's immune to Ebola. That's cool. Yeah, so he can actually go back and be exposed and... Unless there was an antigenic shift or a rift in the antigens or something like that, then it would kill Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so you never know. You know, Virus. God bless those people who go and help 
in these weird outbreak situations yeah. and risk their lives. But they say Ebola was spread by monkeys, and uh, who knows? I mean, nobody really knows for sure. I mean, yeah, but it's uh, it's it's another one of those what they call lethal viruses. You get it, your mortality of it's like ninety eight percent, ninety eight percent of people that get it die. And the only thing you do is support them. I mean, maintain their blood pressure when they start bleeding. Give them stuff to help them clot their blood. Blah blah blah. I mean, it's it's a it's so a if you get it, you're probably not going to reverse it. It's just wait it out and see what happens. No, you can't reverse it. You can only be what's called give supportive therapy. Ooh. Kind of like when you run a fever. Take a Tylenol, you know. It's what you call a less than desirable outcome. And it's very less than desirable outcome. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. But they're uh, they're both bad bugs. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Joseph Salk, who invented the polio vaccine, said at one time that one day viruses will rule the world. Very simple little organisms. I mean, they're way simpler than a, than a bacteria. Yeah. I mean, they're very small, very minute, and uh, they have all kinds of different ways they can pass through the air. I mean, when HIV first came around, uh, people thought it was airborne. Contagion. Yeah. And so they, nobody would come close to an AIDS patient or anything like that. Then we found out it was only bloodborne. So that was okay. Wow. Yeah. So, but that's, uh, yeah, it's interesting, the fear of it. Yeah. Well, and it seems like it's relatively rare, but dang, if you get in contact with it, mm -hmm. it's not going to end up great. Yeah. I feel like I don't want to end it on a depressing note. <laughs> We do have one last question. We, we've been kind of going for a minute. Do you think you can answer this one quick? It's kind of depressing too, though. I feel like I need a silly question just to break up the sadness. <laughs> Why don't you just keep talking? I'm sure okay. somebody's going to laugh. So here's a here's the last question. We'll try to get through this one fast. A new study just came out and said that um, aspirin doesn't really help as much as we thought it did with heart attacks and stroke. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, after you have a potential cardiac event and you take an aspirin, it doesn't help as much as we thought, or one a day doesn't help as much as we thought. What do you think about that? I think it still helps, but the problem with it is, with the new advent of blood thinners that have recently come on the market within the last five, six years, I mean, they're way better than aspirin ever will be. Okay. But, you know, it was aspirin's benefits overblown? Oh, it's possible, but it was the only thing that was around. Yeah. So, I mean, now they have these injectables and you know, medications you take once a week and mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 no big deal. You, okay. you don't have to get a blood test drawn, but they're way more effective and a lot safer than uh, the old Coumadin, mm -hmm. which was rank poison. Well I hope. Did you well, did you ever look at that? No. Yeah, you pick up a box of decon, rat poison, and you look at the active ingredients on the back, it's that coumadin, which is a Pretty much the same thing as Coumadin, which people take as blood thinner. So yeah, people, Whoa. yeah, that's how rats get it. They they digest it and they start gnawing on something, and then their mouth starts bleeding and they die. They bleed to death. So crazy. Yeah. yeah it so gets we, darker and darker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's right. I guess it is. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 So people are taking Coumadin. You're taking rat poison. You eat Ebola antivirus. You're gonna die. Yeah. Asthma's not as good. I mean, this is just a gloomy. This Friday. is a gloomy Friday. Yeah. But I guess the good news is it works better. If you have a cardiac event or some type of stroke, type well, I think it's worth something, but it's, it's not going to be your cure all. Like, oh, I'm having a stroke, I'm having a heart attack, I'm going to pop an aspirin, it's going to be okay. No, you're going to die. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> so there's coon in my chest in yeah, a few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take some rat poison. My heart attack doesn't kill me, the rat poison will. Oh my gosh. So. Well, hopefully you don't have one of those type of things happen to you. Yeah. Next, time you yeah. Next time, why don't you check out your topics? You know, well, I did have a question about nut butter, and I'm thinking I wish I would have asked you that one. <laughs> we'll talk about nut butter next week, guys. Yeah, really. Get off this. <laughs> well, I guess the good news is um, the chances of you getting Ebola and uh, antivirus are pretty low if you live here in Missouri, but I can't say much about the Coumadin. No, we got our things in Missouri. We've got periculosis and Lyme's disease. Rocky Let's Hot come up with something good about Missouri for everybody so we can end it on a good note. Okay, you're thinking way too hard. <laughs> you know what's the good news? You get to spend your Fridays with us. How's that? Yeah, that's it. We'll bring you the bad news. <laughs> I thought this was just, this is Free Vice Friday, not Trash Talk Tuesday. Well, I know. This is Gloomy Friday. I know. Well, it has been raining. Maybe that's why I got these depressing questions. I don't know. I'm just in a bummer mood. Apparently. Well, I guess that's those are your questions for the week. Yeah. Can we end this video before I go off my seat? <laughs> yes, let's do. All right, guys. Well, you have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday for Midwestern Monday.